All right, guys, what's up? So you can see those a lot of nice houses coming in the neighborhood that somebody needs to cut. Um, and as you can probably tell, overall it's very dry. Um, but this was like a week ago, and now it's been raining almost every single day. So that's been a challenge. Um, that's how it does. Like, you know, it won't get rain for like three weeks or a month, and then it'll just rain like every day for like a week. So now all these yards look much better, much deeper green. Um, now this property, they do have irrigation, so that helps a lot because if there was not irrigation, it would just be brown out front. Um, but they do, they do have irrigation, so uh, that helps a lot. But nothing is as good as God's rain, you know, like nothing, uh, no irrigation works as good as that. Um, so that's just how that is um, and uh, I'll have to move that four-wheeler in a minute when I weed eat but um yeah as you can see super cool there's, there's a really cool tree house straight back in the woods that's why I didn't delete this part you see that window it's not another house that's a tree house it's really cool um, this is actually uh, this is actually some people in my wife's family and so great great folks and so um so just got some new straw put in and it kind of overlaps the edge for right now and then as it settles in look at those stripes as it settles in for a week or two then i'll you know tuck it all back and put it all at the line with the rake and shovel and stuff but you got to kind of let it settle down for a minute so this is a spot where the cars, you know, it's a steep driveway. This is a steep hill, and sometimes they go off the driveway and mess up this sod, so I'm trying to put it back. A um, little bit of upside down edging footage, but don't worry, it's almost over here. <laughs> and it's hard because anybody, oh yeah, see all these rocks are kind of all at different kind of levels and stuff, so it's hard to mow right there, so I just weedy that. Look at this new truck he got. Man, that thing's sweet. It's got a Cummins in it. Man, thing will be hard to beat. But uh, these southern lawns, it's like when you see them on video, you can't really tell that they even need to be cut. But our southern lawns, they kind of grow kind of short and dense. You know, they'll probably only grow like another two, one or two inches, but they'll be, but they grow like thick. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but so you, you know, so they does need to be cut. Um, so even though it doesn't look like it sometimes on anybody's videos that's in the south, right? Like this has been this has been a 14 day cut on this yard here. So here's the other side of the truck. I was just looking at it because I'm like, man, this thing is awesome. Just got it. Um, yeah, super happy for him, and uh, really really cool. So now we're blowing off. As you can see, you know I go around and I blow all the edges of the straw to tuck it all nice as you can see I already done it in that top part up there looks super good and uh you know it's going good like i said it, there you go you can see stripes again you can see a little part where i patched in the past right beside the driveway um and then to finish up this yard i go all around the, all the beds you know there's like 3x the amount of bed area that there is grass you know kind of wraps all around so i go around spray these weeds i have a little bit of it's called turf mark that's actually not the brand that i'm using but it's just a marker so that wherever you spray you, the customer sees that you are a good lawn man see that white truck over there there's a guy over there i can see him eating a muffin man that looks good but when you get some gas in the mower since i no longer have to get mixed gas that's fun so all you gotta do stop by just fill up the cans with regular no mixing oil or anything you're good to go which i mean i will have to in the fall and all that stuff as soon as the leaves start but you know hey let's do it